Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, helping you make your game nights better. Today, what we're going to do is what we like to call a board game bag check. I've got a brand new game entering my collection for the first time. And what I like to do when I get one of those is unbox it um, with you live. So you can join me as I experience checking out the contents in this fine game for the first time. The game we're looking at today is a classic, a true classic called Racco. This is a game that people of my age group grew up playing with their grandparents and something I have amazingly rediscovered in the last year and fallen all in love with again. This was a game we first discovered at the Bandy Groose Brewery over some pints of Sex Panther Porter, a nitro porter that's really worth trying. While playing that, we played some Racco and got hooked, enough so that when I got home, my wife surprised me the next weekend with a patio in our driveway and a shiny new copy of Racco. Unfortunately, the lighting wasn't very good, so we didn't get to play. So it's still in shrink. So I figured, why not record a unboxing video? So get ready to see what you get in one of the most famous games of all time, known for generations, the 50-year-old number sorting game, Racco. All right, here we have it cracking open. Maybe my copy of Racco that doesn't want to open. There we go, for the first time. All right, so first off, we have the ultra high quality black and white Looks like they were photocopied rules. Effective enough. <laughs> we have the rules for Racco, which are two pages. They're front. Oh, there's a bit about the game. So we're looking at three pages here. Nice big font that actually shows you how to play really well using no actual game art, which is slightly silly. You figure they would actually use the art from the cards. Um, instead, they have these like hand drawn ish computer generated pictures. Um, as you can see, this is the goal of Racco is to get all your cards in order. Um, that's what you don't want. That'll be at the start of the game. The first player to do that is going to call Racco. Everyone's going to get points. I basically just taught you how to play. Now, interestingly, there we have found a couple variants in the rules. The current, this is the most recent printing of Racco, does give the person who scored Racco 75 points because they're going to get 25 or sorry, 50 points for their full rack and a bonus 25 points. A full game is played to 500 points. I personally recommend you play to less than that or play until you're sick of playing. So there you go. A, a black and white rule book in the box. We have a trough box insert, which just makes me wonder why the box isn't just slightly smaller. Uh, interestingly, unlike the copy we played at Band of Goose, all of the boards are the same color. When I played them before, they were actually in a, a black and white. So this is one of the key factors of Racco is this card rack to put your cards in. There are four of them. I've got to say they're well designed. And what I like is your score is right on the edge. And unfortunately, my camera's not picking it up while showing you. So if you're scored up to here, you are going to get the points scored there. If your rack's in fully in order, you're going to get a full points. And what it is is five points per card, but it does the math for you. Because if you're like me, you're probably having a few drinks while you're playing this game. So here we have the cards. All right, here are the card designs in the latest edition of Racco, which I gotta say is pretty boring. It just says Racco and has the number. Um, the version I'm used to playing has a little bit more artwork going on. So we start at one, and then of course we have two, then three. Oh my God, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna guess 11's next. Yep, we have 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, okay, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. Wow, uh, so, so, so far 20 different cards. 21, 22, each is unique. 23, 24, 25, 26, okay, 27, 28, 29, 30. Wow, 30 unique cards, that's, that's impressive. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Oh my gosh, we actually have 40. Uh, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. A shout out to the chat. I agree. Card 25 did have some great artwork. Uh, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Oh wow, there's more than 50 cards in here. 
more than 50 unique cards in this copy of the newest edition of Racco. So we have 51. Where are we going to stop? 52, 53, 54, 55. Okay, I'm getting a little tired. I might have to take a break. 56, 57, 58, 59, and... Oh, there we have it. 60. 60 cards. 60 completely unique cards. And then we have the back with the copyright Hasbro and Racco. Now, what I will point out, joking aside, the most brilliant part of the design of these cards is if you notice the numbers slide left to right. And that makes it extremely easy to tell if your rack is in order. Throwing in cards here randomly. Of course, this isn't going to really show off my point. Let's try that again. I should have shuffled these quickly. Um, I will note these are kind of plastic coated. That's a nice touch. So here you can kind of see, of course, they're not laying flat because it's not on a table. And there you can kind of see how you see how they jump around where if they were in order, it would be a straight line. So there you go. What you get in a copy of Racco. Not one, not two, not three, but four plastic trays. That you can't actually stack like that to put in the box. <laughs> there you go. Four plastic trays and 60 Count them, I just did 60 unique cards. Oh, and don't forget, black and white rules. Gotta love that production quality. So there you have it. A look inside the box at my shiny new copy of Racco featuring 60 unique cards, four card trays, and some black and white instructions. I gotta say Hasbro um, did a great job on the production quality in here, especially the card design, so the numbers go left to right, so it's really easy to tell if your cards are in order or not. All joking aside, I love this game. I am a heavy board game player into complex strategy games, yet I have a ton of fun sitting down with friends, playing a game of Racco. Yes, I'll admit, we usually include some adult beverages, but not always. This is a great patio game. It's one of those games that you can sit down and play and still socialize and have a conversation and catch up and talk about what you're watching on TV while playing the game. And I do appreciate that for a certain type of game night. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, getting to see what you get in a copy of Racco. Did it surprise you? I couldn't believe those cards went to 60. Good day and game on. Now you can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop. One word, you can find my reviews, news, and other gaming content at tabletopbellhop.com, where I will admit I'm usually talking about heavier, more strategic hobby and designer board games and not mass market favorites, but I really had to call this game out after rediscovering it this year. Again, you can find all that at tabletopbellhop.com. If you thought this was amusing and enjoyed this video, it'd be cool if you went over to tabletop bell, or sorry, went over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and considered tipping your bellhop. That's it for this unboxing. Good day and game on.